okay now in this lecture we will see problems on floats how to calculate the floats from network okay now this is the network okay uh, the previous network that we have already seen okay in this network we have already plotted the uh, event times okay early start uh, uh, early event time and latest event time okay that we have already uh, plotted and also plotted the critical path okay now we'll see how to calculate the floats now to calculate the floats you just remember this table okay you have to plot in table format now now first column is your activity same like a uh, uh, previous table okay then next one is your duration okay now there are four uh, columns that is total float free float interfering float and independent float and last one is your remark okay now you just know the formula then you can easily plot the uh, easily calculate the floats okay now the formula for total float is your tlj minus tei minus tij okay tlj is nothing but your latest okay suppose see to remember this formula just draw one activity just simple activity okay this is activity one two okay now this is the tail event means this is i event okay and this is j event okay and this is tij is nothing but your duration between this activity okay now this is t e i okay this is t e i earlier start time for j i activity T E I. This is T E J. Earlier start time for J means head. T E I T E J. Then this is T L I. This is T L I and this is T L J. T L J. Okay. Means earlier start time of this activity, earliest finish time, latest finish time, and latest start time. Okay. Early start time latest earliest finish time latest start time latest finish time okay so okay now total float formula tlj minus ti this minus this minus ti tlj minus ti ti okay so this is the formula for total float okay that you have to write here okay next free float tej minus tei minus ti tej minus ti minus ti okay tj minus ti ti okay so this is free float formula okay then interfering float means total float minus free float tf minus ff okay so this is simple formula and independent float is nothing but tei tj minus tli tej minus tli minus tij okay so this is independent this is total this is free total minus free is in interfering and independent disease this <coughs> so you have to just remember this crossings for remembering this formula okay now you have plotted the all activities then duration of that activities now we will calculate the proof okay now for activity one two three plot tl j 12 minus 0 minus 3 9 okay now for activity one two three plot 3 minus 0 minus 3 0 now uh, free interfering float total float 9 minus 0 9 okay free float is 9 now independent float 3 minus 0 minus 3 0 okay clear now for activity 1 3 4 minus 0 minus 4 0 see here 0 okay free float 4 minus 0 minus 4 0 okay then next next is your uh, interfering float okay total float minus free float 0 minus 0 0 okay independent float 4 minus 0 minus 4 0 okay now see here this is the critical activity okay now for all critical activities to float is 0 total float is 0 free float is 0 interfering float is 0 and independent float is 0 for every critical activity float is zero okay then if their float is zero then we will call it as a critical activity that means what there is no any chance of delaying this activity 
दिवस शिल्लक नहीं को तुम्हारे फ्लोट शिल्लक नहीं कि तुम्हें एक्टिविटी डिले करू शता इफ यू डिले दिस एक्टिविटी बाय सींगल डे युअर होल प्रोजेक्ट विल डिले ओके टोटल प्रोजेक्ट तुम्हारे डिले हो क्रिटिकल पाथ मे को ही फ्लोट अवेलेबल नो सगे फ्लोट जीरो टोटल फ्लोट जीरो फ्री फ्लोट जीरो इंटरफेरिंग फ्लोट जीरो इंडिपेन्डेंट फ्लोट जीरो सो दिस इज द क्रिटिकल एक्टिविटी नाउ चेक फॉर एक्टिविटी टू फोर ओके टोटल फ्लोट चौदह वजा तीन वजा दो फोर्टीन माइनस थ्री इलेवन माइनस टू नाइन ओके देन फ्री फ्लोट सेवन माइनस थ्री माइनस टू टू फ्री फ्लोट इज टू ओके नाउ इंटरफेरिंग फ्लोट नाइन माइनस टू सेवन इंडिपेन्डेंट फ्लोट सेवन माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस टू माइनस सेवन ओके इट इज माइनस सेवन ओनली इंडिपेन्डेंट फ्लोट will come sometimes minus okay sometimes it will come in positive otherwise it is zero okay next activity 3 4 activity 3 4 3 4 activity 3 4 14 minus 3 okay uh, minus 2 activity sorry activity 3 4 here 14 minus 4 minus 3 14 minus 4 minus 3 7 okay then uh, 7 minus 4 minus 3 0 Okay, seven minus zero, seven. Like this, like this, you have to calculate the float for each and every activity. Okay, now we'll check another critical activity. Okay, floats for critical activity. See, activity number three five. See here, it is critical activity. Okay, ten minus four. Okay, six six minus six zero. Total float is zero for activity three five. See, total float is zero. Next. Uh, free float 10 minus 4 6 6 minus 6 0 free float is 0 okay independent float 0 minus 0 0 interfering float 10 minus 4 6 6 minus 6 0 okay all floats are 0 okay same like we'll again check for critical activity 58 58 c 17 minus 10 7 7 minus 7 0 okay then next 17 minus 10 free float 17 minus 10 minus 7 0 okay free float 0 okay now 0 minus 0 0 now we have to check independent float for activity so independent float 17 minus 10 7 7 minus 7 0 okay every 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 float is 0 okay so this is the critical activity so this is the critical activity okay now for dummy activity there Will not be any float, okay? For dummy activity, you don't have to calculate any float because there is no durations, okay? There is no durations, so don't calculate floats to the dummy activity, okay? Now we'll check randomly any another activity. Suppose seven nine, okay? We'll check seven nine activity. See here, seven nine activity activity number seven nine. Now first total float twenty minus eleven that is nine nine minus two nine, okay? Means total float is nine. See here, total float is nine. Sorry, seven. Total float is seven. Twenty minus eleven nine. Nine minus two seven. Okay. Next, free float. Twenty minus eleven uh, nine. Nine minus two seven. Seven. Okay. So this is also seven. Seven seven. Seven seven. Okay. Free float is seven minus seven zero, and independent float is. See independent float is twenty minus eighteen two two minus two zero. Okay, here independent float and uh, free float is uh, independent float and interfering float is zero. Okay, but these are uh, total float and free float is seven seven. So this is not critical activity. In critical activity, each and every float should be zero. Okay, then and then only that activity is critical. Okay, like that we have to calculate the floats. Okay, they will ask you the uh, example to calculate the uh, floats and activities time both. Okay, for a twelve marks or only for a to calculate the floats for eight mark. Okay, they will ask you. Now we will see another example. Calculate the floats from the network given below. Okay, so this is the network. This is activity one two zero. Plus six six okay six plus five eleven okay zero plus eight eight six plus four ten eight ten will take ten ten plus five fifteen eleven fifteen fifteen okay then again this will take and calculate the backward pass five minus fifteen minus five ten okay 
15 minus 5 10 okay 10 minus 4 6 here 15 minus 5 10 10 6 which is less 6 is less so we will take 6 6 minus 6 0 okay 10 minus 8 2 0 6 which is less 0 so we will take 0 here right now we have to calculate the floats first we have written the activities activity 1 2 1 3 2 3 2 4 3 5 3 4 okay like that we have taken the all activities and we have written the durations now first total float total float for activity 1 2 4 minus 0 4 4 minus sorry total float 6 minus uh, 0 this is 6 6 minus 0 uh, 6 6 minus 6 0 okay total float is 0 then free float 1 minus 0 0 6 minus 0 6 6 minus 6 0 okay so this is also 0 free float minus total float 0 okay this value is 0 then uh, independent float 6 minus 0 6 6 minus 6 0 okay so everything is 0 so this is the critical activity okay so this is the critical activity now next two <coughs> activity 1 3 1 3 10 minus 0 10 10 minus 8 2 okay total float 2 free float 10 minus 0 minus 8 2 okay total float 2 interfering float total float minus free float 0 independent float 10 minus 0 10 10 minus 8 2 independent float 2 okay next uh, 2 3 activity number 2 3 in activity number 2 3 10 minus 6 4 4 minus 4 0 okay total float 0 next uh, <coughs> free float 10 minus 6 minus 4 10 4 4 minus 4 0 okay free float 0 means uh, interfering float total float minus free float 0 and independent float 10 minus 6 4 4 minus 4 0 okay so this is all are 0 so this is the critical activity okay so this activity is critical activity i will mark here then you can show the critical activity in zigzag portion okay now next activity we will see activity 2 4 2 4 15 minus 6 15 minus 6 9 9 minus 5 4 okay then free float 15 minus 6 9 9 minus 5 4 4 4 okay now interfering float total float minus free float 0 okay independent float 15 minus 6 15 minus 6 9 9 minus 5 4 independent float is 4 okay now next 3 6 see here 4 4 0 4 so this is not critical activity now activity 3 4 okay 3 4 15 minus 10 15 minus 10 5 5 minus 5 0 okay total float 0 free float 15 minus 10 5 5 minus 5 0 okay free float 0 then 0 minus 0 0 interfering float 15 minus 10 5 5 minus 5 0 okay so everything is 0 so this is the critical activity so this is the critical path okay so this is the longest path of your project okay when you add the durations of this path you will get the project duration 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 okay long critical path gives the project duration see here 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 7 17 17 plus 3 20 okay so duration of project is 20 critical path gives you the minimum duration of your project and it is the longest path of your project hope uh, i hope you will clear the how to calculate the uh, uh, floats okay now the next part next part we will see uh, criticality of activity okay what is the criticality of activity what is in my super critical what is in my subcritical okay criticality and critical activity of the four floats total float is the most important one okay char float the most important float is total float most of the time means always if total float is zero your activity is critical activity all other floats will become zero if total float is zero then all other floats are automatically come zero okay means total float zero your activity is critical the degree of total float provides the information regarding criticality of the activity okay means total float zero activity is critical since the total float is the difference between maximum available time and activity durations there is a three possibility first if difference is positive okay means total float you will get the value of total float is positive then excess time available for doing the activity okay excess time available for doing the activity see here i will show this is the activity one two okay here five durations five here durations uh, three okay this is 
5 3 then this is suppose uh, 10 this is uh, 17 okay and this is 14 so this is like this okay if the difference is positive total float difference means 17 minus 5 12 12 minus 3 9 difference is positive means excess time available for doing the activity we have maximum time to delay that activity okay then if difference is zero suppose difference is zero now here the case is like that 17 okay uh, 5 plus 3 8 okay wait I will show you uh, suppose here is 8 okay and here is also 8 if difference is 0 8 minus 5 3 3 minus 3 0 means float is 0 means what this activity is critical there is a no any excess time to doing this activity you have to complete that activity within the stipulated time तुम्हारा जो का टाइम दिले लेते हैं टाइम में दिस तुम्हारे तो एक्टिविटी संपूर्ण जाए जहाँ तुमसे फ्लोट जीरो है ना व्हेन फ्लोट इज नेगेटिव फ्लोट कभी नेगेटिव हो समटाइम्स यू आर डूइंग दी प्रोजेक्ट ओके एंड यू आर प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑलरेडी डिलेड तुमसे प्रोजेक्ट डिले जाले लाए बरोबर डिले जाल फोर होते इतने तुम चाहता फाइव डेज मुझे एक एकाद दिवस ने प्रोजेक्ट डिले था हार डिले था लेकिन मुझे इकड़े पन डिले था तो तुम चाहे डेटेस्ट फिनिश का होता तुम चाहे सेवेन होता बराबर ना सेवेन माइनस फाइव मुझे तुम चाहे टोटल टोटल प्रोजेक्ट पूरे डिले होना है सेवेन माइनस फाइव टू टू माइनस थ्री means less time available to complete that activity मुझे तुम चकड़े काय करा जाए instead of three days you have to complete this activity in two days only okay जब normal condition चाहिए तो तुम्हीं पुड़े के लिए लाहत ये तेरे का लक्ष्य मुझे तुम्हीं delay आहत ये तेरे चारों को समझते हो मुझे चारों तुम चे तीन type में दे activity define किया जाता है first one is your sub critical activity means that condition float is positive non zero this activity needs normal attention and have some flexibility you can flexible that activity you can de may delay that activity to make them critical or float becomes zero float zero e parent to make a the activity delay karu shakta okay critical activity this condition is where float is zero this uh, these activities need extra attention to multi or extra care they and no freedom of action to multi as a tiga freedom na the activity delay karna city delay will directly affect on the project duration if you delay that activity that will directly affect on a project duration so this is the critical activity okay then super critical activity float is negative here float is negative such activity requires very special attention and care okay you have to deploy some extra resources for this activity okay to complete that activity within the time okay tumhala te activity lawkar lawkar complete karna sathi tyachar ti resources vadavay lagtat you have to uh, amount tyachar ti jasti amount tumhala spend karave lagte so instead of uh, delaying that activity tumchi activity next activity delay hone cha agodar tumchi agodar cha activity लवकरात लवकर पूर्ण व्हावी सो अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम बाय व्हिच अर्ली स्टार्ट ऑफ द एक्टिविटी एक्सीड्स द लेट लेट स्टार्ट ओके वेयर द पाथ इन द नेटवर्क बिकम सुपर क्रिटिकल एक्टिविटीज ऑन दैट पाथ हैव फ्लोट ऑफ लेस देन जीरो सो दीस आर द क्रिटिकलिटी ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज ओके सब क्रिटिकल क्रिटिकल एंड सुपर क्रिटिकल ओके सो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिविटी सब क्रिटिकल एक्टिविटी क्रिटिकल एक्टिविटी एंड सुपर क्रिटिकल एक्टिविटी Now, see, it is essential technique of a using CPM to construct a network of the project that includes the following. First, a list of all activities required to complete the project. Okay, typically categorized within the work breakdown structure. To doing the CPM technique, what you will require the list of all activities required to complete that project. Then, time duration of each activity for taking completion you, you should know the time duration required for each and every activity then dependencies between the activity means logical relation between the activities these three things you should know okay first uh, list of all activities to complete that project then time required for that active every each and every activity then third one is your dependencies between the all activities 
a project can have several parallel near critical paths and additional parallel paths through the network with the total duration shorter than the critical path are called as a subcritical or a non critical path okay means critical activity pictures are kemi durations lagat asthil okay then that then that, that is called as a सब क्रिटिकल पाथ और नॉर्मल क्रिटिकल पाथ क्रिटिकल पाथ सोडन जे दुसरे हे असतात तुमचे पाथ असतात त्याला आपण सब क्रिटिकल और नॉन नॉन क्रिटिकल पाथ असं म्हणतो ओके लेट अस कंसीडर वन एग्जांपल ओके डिस्क्रिप्शन ऍक्टिव्हिटीज आर ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी ओके प्रिलिमिनरी डिझाइन इव्हॅल्युएशन ऑफ डिझाइन कॉन्ट्रॅक्टर नेगोशिएशन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फॅब्रिकेशन प्लॅन फायनल डिझाइन फॅब्रिकेशन प्रोडक्ट प्लॅन शिपमेंट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट ओके सो दीस आर द एनलिस्टेड ऍक्टिव्हिटीज these are the activities uh, description of activity and these are the activity name okay then uh, they have given the relation predecessor for activity a is no means previous activity konti nahi means a activity is your first activity okay evaluation of design predecessor is b okay then uh, for c no any predecessor means c is a, c activity is also your first activity now d activity c activity is your predecessor for e activity b and c activities are predecessor okay they have given the relation and durations now we'll plot the network okay first activity a and c are the initial activities okay they have no any predecessor okay then we'll start it from here okay uh, this is the node from where activity a is going and activity c is going okay we'll give the number it as a 1 ac okay now next for activity b a is predecessor means a is predecessor next activity is b b is a predecessor baka ite a hai okay we have written the a next for activity c no uh, any predecessor means that is first activity okay that will start from initial node okay a and c apan ha already start kelele tar ite paryant jhalele ta apla this part complete this jala ha jala okay next c preparation of fabrication work uh, it's a predecessor activity hai d ch activity hai c म्हणजे सी च्या पुढची ऍक्टिव्हिटी कोणती आहे डी ओके यू हॅव प्लॉटेड इयर ऍक्टिव्हिटी डी नेक्स्ट हे पण झालेलं आहे ई फायनल डिझाईन ही तुमची ऍक्टिव्हिटी आहे माझा प्रेडिसेसर आहे बी पण आहे सी पण आहे बरोबर आता बी तुमचा प्रेडिसेसर आहे बीच्या पुढे जर मी ई दाखवला ओके तर सी पण प्रेडिसेसर आहे तुमचा राईट पण डीचा पण प्रेडिसेसर सी आहे बरोबर त्यामुळे आपल्याला इथे काय करायला लागेल बीला जर ई दाखवलं तर आपल्याला इथे काय करायला लागेल एक डमी ऍक्टिव्हिटी प्रोव्हाइड करायला लागेल सो दिस इज दी डमी ऍक्टिव्हिटी to uh, show the relation between activity uh, b c and e okay so ha part jala apna complete next f fabrication project product fabrication product tela kay hai predecessor activity hai d and e okay f sati hai d and e predecessor d pan hai apna e pan hai te doni ekatra alen te tun pude bahar kala f f la karan doni pan hai okay so we have shown here f la d and e g la g la ek konti hai predecessor f जिला यप काढलेले आपण ओके सो नेटवर्क इथे तुमचं कम्प्लीट झालेलं आहे नाव यू हॅव टू गिव्ह दी फलकसन रूल नंबरिंग ओके सो दिस इज दी फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवन्थ ओके नंबर दिलेले आहे आपल्याला नंबरिंग नंबरिंग दिलेलं आहे नाव यू हॅव टू गिव्ह दी नेमिंग ऑफ ऍक्टिव्हिटी ए बी सी डी दॅट यू हॅव ऑलरेडी डू अँड बिलो दॅट इच ऍक्टिव्हिटी अॅरो वी हॅव टू शो दी ड्युरेशन ऑफ दॅट ऍक्टिव्हिटी ओके Five two eight five nine like that. Okay. Now here we have given the number. Now what we have to do? We have to do the forward pass and backward pass. Okay. Now we'll start with the forward pass. Now this start with the zero duration. Okay. It start with the zero duration. See. Now zero plus five. What zero plus five? That will here you will get five. Okay. Zero plus five. See here. Zero plus five. Either I will write it zero plus five. You will get five here. okay don't see this graph you will see this letter 0 plus 5 5 okay now 0 plus 8 8 see here here 8 0 plus 8 8 i will write in square okay now 5 plus 2 7 8 plus 0 dummy activity 0 8 plus 0 8 7 and 8 which, which we have to take maximum okay 8 okay next 8 plus 9 17 and 8 plus 5 13 13 and 70 which one is greater 17 is greater so we will take 17 here okay 17 plus 12 29 okay 29 plus 3 32 you have taken everything now we'll do backward pass 
okay now see here 32 we are taken in the 32 in rectangular form okay 32 minus 3 29 okay 29 29 minus 12 29 minus 12 17 okay we will get 17 here in triangle only 17 okay 17 minus 9 8 we will get 8 here in triangle only okay now 17 minus 5 12 8 minus 0 8 12 okay which one is minimum 8 is minimum so we will take 8 here okay in triangle now 8 minus 0 0 okay 8 minus 2 6 here we will get 6 okay and 6 minus 5 0 8 minus 8 0 6 minus 5 1 which one is less 0 is less so we will take 0 here okay now see from here only you will get the critical path 0 0 8 8 so this is the critical path here 0 0 5 6 okay so this is not critical path so this is the critical path 8 8 8 8 okay so 8 8 8 8 here we will go 8 8 17 17 so this is not critical path why because 8 plus 5 12 12 is there okay that 17 is come from this path 8 plus 8 and 17 and 17 okay okay so this is the critical path okay there will not be two bifurcated uh, bifurcated the critical path okay so you will get only one critical path like this then this is the critical path 17 17 29 29 and 32 32 okay here 8 8 17 17 this is not critical path because you will get 8 8 here but 8 plus 5 12 here okay and this 17 is come from this path not from this path so this is not critical path okay if you are confusing here then uh, simply draw uh, floats okay you will get the float of which activity will get the float zero then that uh, activity is critical activity okay so the critical path that you have to mention like this 1 dash 3 1 dash 3 dash 4 1 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 okay and total duration of project is 32 okay that you have to mention in every problem okay and with this we will stop here in next lecture we will see the uh, part or uh, then after that we will see the time and cost relationship here we have completed the critical path uh, cpm method and problems from CP cpm method okay try to solve the maximum problems of cpm draw the network uh, find out the project durations then find out the critical path then uh, find out the uh, event times activity times and uh, floats okay so in critical path method uh, you will ask the problem on draw the network okay that you have seen okay after drawing the network uh, estimate the uh, event times okay then after estimating the event times you have to uh, plot the uh, critical path out of that okay you have to plot the critical path and also they will ask you to uh, calculate the project durations okay you, project durations will get to know from the critical path only okay then they also ask you to find out the event times and activity times and uh, also they can ask you to calculate the floats okay so this type of problem this this type of problems they will ask in critical path method cpm okay with this we will stop here next lecture we start with the part okay thank you